It looks like a wallet. Ooh, this looks like it might be jewelry. Now I found something super interesting. You see this? This whole jar is full of money. We are finally at our $1,000 11-year-old storage unit that has so much dust on it. It might choke me. I don't know until we get in there, but I've been waiting so long to get into this unit. Let's open the door. Let's see what we got. Every time I take something out, I'm just gonna drop it, let it hit the ground, and see how much dust flies off it. Like this. Watch this. Okay, it didn't really fly off. <laughs> it's a lot of dust on there. Whatever, let's see what's in this. Start with the suitcases. Look at this though. By the way, this unit's been in there for 11 years. The owner passed away this year, they let us know, so no telling what's gonna be in here. This zipper's broken. I don't All think right. we'll be able to get in here without having to bust the whole suitcase, look. Well. Yep, time to break it. Can opener. You're, like You are the can opener. I feel like a can opener. I gotta go to here and go across this whole thing. This should be enough to get in there. And in here we have, what's the note say? Oh, that's an address. I'm gonna look that up. That, some clothes. What's this thing right here? Little picture frame with a penny in it. Make sure there's nothing else hidden in there. No. Wires. Ugh, old clothes. This glasses. Not in there. This old phone. And this necklace here. Or is this like a wallet? I think this is more of a wallet chain, isn't it? But in that. Not seeing much else in this bag. This one's got front pockets in it, so let's check these first. Uh, let's see, never play the same game again. NFL game day 2004, all right. Whoa. If they have a bunch of vintage video games in here, I'd be so happy. Oh my gosh, AOL. Welcome. You've got mail. Who remembers that? Does that bring back a weird memory in other people's heads too? Lower pocket. There's a bunch of, looks like cards or stuff in here. Yeah, just a bunch of old cards. I doubt they're gonna have anything in them because they've been in here for ages. Let's see what's in the actual bag. Really? All right, I'm gonna give you my performance. No, I'm not, I don't sing. Don't expect that to come out of me. But yeah, literally it's just one set of wires and a microphone. Who keeps that in a suitcase? That's so strange. This box has kids clothes. Let's see if they're telling the truth. And they kind of are, but let's just do a quick reach down to the bottom. Yeah, that's kids clothes all the way to the bottom. Next box here says tapes. What do you expect, VHS cassettes or something out of the ordinary? Cassettes are better. VHS is kind of suck because all you can really look for is old horror movies. Huh? This is why you chuck them all. Oh, there are some tapes in here, but not all tapes. Getting in trouble! Who remembers that commercial? It's kind of cringy. Then we have, look, dry wash. Your pathway to success. Okay. Let's see what these papers are when they're dated out of curiosity. 2003, so about the right time. It's actually a little older than 11 years. Put that in here. Okay, these are cassettes. A lot of cassettes in here. Here's one of those like cassette holders in the back. Then we have a bunch of books or binders, a Bible here. Let's open it up. Always, everyone always tells me, people put money in Bibles. You know, I bought probably four or 500 storage units. I've never found as much as a dollar in a Bible. Never found anything. Hey, love never fails. Remember that, it never fails. Except I think the divorce rate in the United States is at like 40% now nowadays, but you know, it's another problem. Let's box, which box now? Big one or a little white one? Big, Big one. one. All right, this one's about to smack me with the dust. Let's see it. Ugh. Let's see. What's it say on it? Jeez. Look at the top Cloths. of this. Cloths. <laughs> Cloths. Look. Look at the dust. Look how thick that is. All right. Is it actually, ugh. ugh. It's actually clothes, I think. Yep, again, this one's clothes all the way down. This one's kid shoes, so let's see if they have any good brands in here. I don't know, it looks like Timberlands right here. I don't know there's a vintage market for Tim's. I know with like Jordans, people pay crazy amounts for some of the old shoes. But look at these little Tim's right here. They're all kids. Timberlands, 
this another one yep there's a timberland logo right there too so another tim do we see any matches though yeah, here's the match of the first one so we got one matching pair of tims there's the other one right there so two pairs of timberlands is that another one no these are oil resistant like these are like mechanics they're steel toe what they got there like five-year-old working on the bottom of the car <laughs> that's a steel toe slip resistant shoe for like a five-year-old look at that some like baby blue looking tims are these some old baby air forces <laughs> look at that and what else do we have in here there's the other blue tim some other nikes as well so at least they're decent name brand but I just don't know if there's like a collector's market for old Tim's like there is old Jordan's, but I guess we'll find out. So when I decided to go to eBay and look to see if there was a market for vintage Timberlands, there was not one single pair of used Timberlands vintage that has sold. There are some new ones that are selling for decent prices, but even there, it's nothing. So we just went ahead and took the shoes and donated them with the rest of the kids' clothes. So I pulled this box aside because I can see a purse right through the top. So in this, is this a wallet? It looks like a wallet, but is there anything in it? Just a bunch of papers and business cards and blah, blah, blah. The stuff you expect to find in a wallet, but not hope you find. Papers and papers and papers and there's somebody's driver's license. All right, at least now I can look this person up and see their store. Let me put that over here. Here's a purse that I can see through there. There's the brand on if anyone recognizes it because obviously I'm not a purse person. Now is when things start to get interesting because I went ahead and punched that brand of purse into eBay and filtered to sold and used only, and they were all selling for a hundred, some several hundred dollars. So already I was in a good mood. Is this a purse? Open. It is a little purse, hey look. Brand new. They got it, who knows how long ago, for four bucks. <laughs> Joy, hey look. A Polaroid camera. This looks like one of the newer ones that were kind of meant to mimic the old style. Like, I don't think this is actually old. I feel like these are the ones we had like when I was a kid. Like, it's a Polaroid camera and made it look like the old ones, but it's really not. Old hat, Make-A-Wish Foundation. There's something else hard in here, I'm feeling. What is that? You know, watching random a YouTube bowl. videos, you kind of, like, remember we saw one guy find a bunch of hats at a yard sale that were worth so much? Yeah, you just never know. But like if you just, it's just unfortunate because if you take the time to look up every piece, like every unit would take like two years. You just have to be like, is this pair of jeans worth this? No. Then you spend two years and you find like one hat finally it's worth 70 bucks and you're like, yes, I just exchanged two years for $70. All right, let's see what's in this box. What are these things? Mary Kay and Ashley private spa collection. What year do you think these were put in here? Like you think there's possibility that these are anything good? I seriously doubt it. I have no idea how long they've been in here. More Mary Kate. Hey look, something from the defense logistics. That makes it a little interesting. Here's a gift certificate. $10 worth of free products at your appointment. Yay! All right, in here, this is just a bag of paper and this is, what are you? Come here, what's in this thing? If it's more Mary Kay, I'm yeeting it across the storage facility. Yeah. There's a camera right there, did I do it anyway? Yeah. Yeah. Now what am I supposed to do with it? Gosh, I'm going to put this up on Facebook Marketplace. Yo, anyone interested in 17-year-old Mary Kay products? Anybody? I don't think they will be. Before I get into this big old long box here, guys, make sure you do us a favor and leave this video a like because it helps us out a freaking ton. We need your support. Please, this is a one grand unit. Please help us out. Let me show you what's in this one because this looks cool. So look, we already know this is a mailbox right there based on its label. It has balls. So let's see if that's actually what's in there. In we have this. Box. <laughs> it is. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> that looks like a satchel or whatever you call it. The brand on that is Heroes Bags. It looks old, but I don't see nothing in it. You can tell by like the interior, this thing is definitely not modernly made. It's definitely an old bag there. So that's maybe worth something. And this, oh, I thought this was a rifle case. But, well, look at that. Looks like it's supposed to be like a pool stick or a pool cue. Is that what this is? I think that is what this is. Look at this, come here. Oh, it is, look at this. Hey. Hey, look at like a customized one right here. Ooh, a stealth one with the crosshair on it. Pre-owned stealth brand pool cues vary greatly from between $20 and $80 depending on the model. 
if this guy ends up being like a hunter or something and there's rifles in there i'll be so happy because right now look what we have how much we've taken out versus what we've shown you every other box on that truck that we didn't get seen was either dusty clothes or paperwork there's a lot of it so far <laughs> but there is looks like at least two maybe three or four i think four total pool cues this one is champs brand that one's stealth brand the other two just look generic they're just black and white they don't really say anything on them but i'm guessing by balls does it mean the pool walls are down here yeah i hear them you hear that yep let's see if they're those old ones those nice ones oops let me put the pool cue pieces back in the bag the box why do i always do it backwards if it's a box i say bag if it's a bag i say box definitely pool balls let's see which ones they are oh yeah these are nice look at that everybody's favorite when you hit this in right at like the beginning you're just like <laughs> so a whole thing of that now i'm wondering do you think the table that'd will, be awesome will be in here somewhere because it's a giant unit i mean it's huge we barely even touched it there's a good possibility of somewhere back there is the pool table as well i guess we'll find out i didn't even point out that at the beginning look at this nice dolly i mean obviously it's super dusty like everything else but overall made in the usa that means it's quality so we got a good dolly all right so this one looks like it has glass wire in it but before i show you that i just want to point out the fact that look at the newspaper it's wrapped in december 3rd 1998 so i'm thinking their estimate of 11 year old might even be kind of worse like it might be worse than that you know i sound like so stupid today <laughs> i slept for like 45 minutes last night if i sound a little off so give me a break but if that's correct and it's been in there since 1998 i mean it's like 23 years old so that makes it even cooler but i know a lot of people in our comments always want to see the glass but it looks cracked doesn't it it looks kind of chipped but not yeah. from the outside is it it's got an internal crack in it okay oh they taped it what do you oh, think nice. that's gonna do <laughs> let's tape it back together you think that's gonna save this like let's just go try to fill it up with water really quick <laughs> hey like here's a coca-cola one i know anything coca-cola is collectible even though it's common knowledge that pepsi is far superior to coke i mean that's that's not like debatable it's not opinion it's facts scientifically proven what is this everything in here is already broken but a vase or i guess vase or a bottle maybe why does everything smell like spices it does man everything in here is busted i see so much broken glassware i'm not even going to dig in there anymore hey look a note hey trish see if you can use these my mom wanted me to take them to goodwill <laughs> what what i guess What's you can together glass <laughs> now i found something super interesting you see this i don't know what these initials j e k mean but whatever this is there's something in it and the bad part is is that it's locked here so we're gonna have to break into it some way or another you think i can do this the easy way like know. this no it's gonna have to be busted unfortunately so let's just slide this you think it's gonna break my knife yeah, probably no that's not a really like heavy duty knife there no this is a very cheap 99 cents knife but let's try come on you see this <laughs> are you seeing this yep all right come on now we gotta get in here somehow or another. Get in, get in, get in. Huh. Come on. Come on. How are we supposed to get in here? What are we supposed to just put it aside and not know? No. That's not an option. So we gotta get this blade in here and we gotta make it work. So come on. It's just not doing it. It's not having it. Let's try it like this. Hey, oh whoa are you kidding me look at that i paid 99 cents for this knife and now it's gone wow okay there's a bee here throw it there's a bee on the camera i'm not even kidding a bee Wait. just landed on the camera it's like right on the microphone what the heck get away from here uh, okay we gotta figure I out how to break this it. open i see it we gotta figure <laughs> out how to break this open so it turns out this part of the knife is much more effective at busting locks than this slither of the end so look bang bang let's see what we got in here because it cost me my knife this thing better be good Ooh, it's dirty look at it what's in the bag first uh let's open this up first that is all paperwork not a good start Ooh, this looks like it might be jewelry let's pour it on the truck oh yeah it's definitely jewelry but it looks like a lot of fashion jewelry which obviously is not going to be as expensive as if it's gold. Royal, floral. 
that thing and then yeah a bunch of little necklaces in here I mean there's a good chance that one of these could potentially something might be gold not too sure as of now we'll magnet test it and whatnot later what's in here that's shady what is it come out a uh, weaving bond all right okay that and I'm seeing a lot of pictures there's more stuff down here look a world best dad keychain um let's see can you see in here yeah. now I can there's this little coin uh looks like a lot of more junk and here's another ring right here looks like a weed leaf on it <laughs> um anything in the side pocket oh yes there is the keys they probably opened it are probably right there and yeah, other than that, I'm just seeing a bunch of crap. There's a little mini watch right here that's cheesed, that's destroyed. Just a Timex. Yeah, all the rest of whatever is in here is what we call grade A crap, unless this is something. No, yeah, grade A crap. This box, I think it says clarinet. It's like the letters are a little like, they're going camel case between uppercase and lowercase, so it's kind of hard to read. But let's see if that's what we have in here, clarinet. That'd be cool. That's something I've never found before. Squidward storage unit, right? Yeah. Am I the only person that associates clear death with nothing else in the face of the earth other than Squidward from SpongeBob? No. Okay, let's make sure it's not this big. That's the only thing I think of when it comes to clear death. Where's it still stuck at? All right, let's see. With your half knife. Yeah, so the knife is a little less effective now. A seashell thing is attached to a bag. I'll just set that right here. What is this guy? A great fishing land kit. fishing kit. Huh, look at that. Cool. It's definitely right here. Now let's see if that's actually in there or not. Because it could have been replaced with who knows what. It could be gold in here. Looks brand new though. Yeah, it does. Ugh, it won't even open. I think you put it, yeah, push it. Okay, I'm just stupid. So. There you go. All right, yeah, I'm just stupid. There's the whole thing. Brand new. Sweet. Nice little fishing kit. All right, it looks like this stuff's starting to get better as we go, which is always good. Usually the case. You know what I see? This whole jar is full of money. Look at that. Cool. Dirty pennies. Hey, there's rolls in there. Ooh. Ooh hold on. Whoa, it's dumping on the truck. I didn't see the actual roll. I just saw the individual coins. What if this was gold? That's plastic. That'd be crazy. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a lot of money. What is this guy? Fashion jewelry, flower basket pin. This unit's got me feeling disgusting. Like the second I get home, I'm going straight to the shower. What is this thing? Is this one perfume. of the old perfume bottles? Yeah. <laughs> All right, looks like, let's see what we have in here. Out, out. It's not trying to cooperate. So are these rolls all 50 cents in pennies? More 50 cents in pennies? Yeah, they're all pennies. Let's make sure they're not like wheat bag pennies. Look in there though. You see all that? Just a ton of pennies. Let me just open one a little bit and see what the pennies look like age-wise. Uh, oh. Ben, it is not cooperating with Once me. Once they're in the rolls, they're in the rolls. Yeah, no, these things have like magical powers. And no, they're just regular pennies. So we're just going to put that back in there in a second. And this, I'm assuming, could be our clarinet. First, let's see what this is. Is this one of those like old school cell phone? Like car, car phone. phone, yeah. <laughs> All right. I'm guessing this Please will be our be clarinet. clarinet. First, make sure there's nothing else in here. No. No, these are all poker chips. All right, let's see if this is the clarinet. What's the brand on it? Bundy? Bundy. Is that a clarinet brand? Let's see. How's it open? Hey! hey. There you it is. It upside down. Well, I did it upside down. But I think this is our first time ever finding a clarinet. I literally think of nothing but Squidward. I'm so immature. But that's just the way it is. Check that out. No idea what something like that's worth. The brand on it is con it says c-o-n-n 16 on it so no idea if that's a good one or a bad one but we got it unfortunately after doing some research we found out the con 16 model of the clarinet is actually really cheap pre-owned they're only selling for about 20 bucks and that's with the case so not as great as i thought but hey it's still cool to find it this is about the thrill and now it's just fun to see so this unit definitely seems like it's going to be one of the ones where the better stuff is in the back because as we're moving further back we're getting into more and more stuff which is always a positive so let's see what else we got in this unit Next time, make sure you subscribe and come back. Peace out.